We have new information tonight about a pedestrian kill during a police pursuit in Newark. Police say 29 year old Priscilla Godoy was struck last night as she crossed the street. The result of a chain reaction crash throughout the day. Eyewitness News reporter Kimberly Richardson tweeted updates on this story. She has the story tonight from Newark. That chain reaction crash unfolded in a matter of minutes. When it was over, a mother was dead. Priscilla Godoy tried to run out of the way, but couldn't. I saw the, the whole thing coming down towards us. I was trying to get out of the way. Get out of the way of there, that speeding white Jeep that was coming right at him and his family. Surveillance video shows police chasing the stolen SUV along 14th Street in Newark, where the suspect then caused a deadly chain reaction crash. He plowed into him and just rammed him right into the car over here. In this cell phone video, you see everybody rushing to help Priscilla Godoy. The 29 year old was pinned between the front bumper of her SUV and another parked car. When she realized it was right up there at her, she was trying to move out of the way, so she ended up run between the cars. That white Jeep actually rear ended a car which was slowly driving over this speed bump. That second car slammed into Priscilla's SUV. She died at the hospital. I was doing my best to help her uncle and I was really hoping we was able to get her off out in time. In all of the confusion just before 11 officials say the two suspects took off on foot. Authorities maintain the men had just carjacked a victim at gunpoint in East Orange. Newark police were looking for that SUV and spotted it here. It was speeding very fast. You could tell it was at a high rate. You heard it whipping through like a wind. Family members tell me Priscilla had a little boy, was the glue that kept the family together. Priscilla is the warmest and sweetest person. She is always there for everybody. She's trying to pull the family together. This family has been through so much. Priscilla's uncle tells me just three weeks ago, she was riding in her SUV with her dad when yet another speeding car hit them. She broke her jaw and other bones was still recovering. Her dad is still in the hospital. In Newark, Kimberly Richardson, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.